I'm Shredmaster Scott, and this video is about Iron Man versus music theory. In a minute, we'll deconstruct the Black Sabbath classic using scales, chords, keys, modes, and even counterpoint. <laughs> Iron Man was written by Black Sabbath, released on the album Paranoid in 1970. The lyrics tell the story of a man who time travels into the future and sees the apocalypse. In the process of returning to the present, he is turned into steel by a magnetic storm. He is rendered mute, unable to verbally warn people of his vision of impending destruction. His attempts to communicate are ignored and mocked. This causes Iron Man to become furious and drives his revenge on mankind, causing the apocalypse he sees in his vision. Oh, the irony. So let's break down the riff in Guitar Pro here. A lot of people think Iron Man is in the key of B, which is wrong. It's actually in the key of E minor, which contains one sharp, F sharp. Got a series of power chords happening here, and I've got the Roman numerals listed below, five to the seven, and the one chord being the E5. Such a simple riff, but so powerful, Ozzy sings it. <laughs> now, let's play the riff backwards and release those demons. So this is called retrograde. It's something that Bach used in his counterpoint ideas. Super brain buster. Next, let's try upside down. This is where we invert the intervals. Now, Tony's going to shoot me for this, but of course, we all want to know what Iron Man sounds like in major. Shred, why? Next, let's crank the tempo up to 175 and get our power metal fix on. Now we could do this all day, but I've got one last variation for you. How about Iron Man using jazz? So basically to do that, you just add seventh chords to everything. Understanding what diatonic chords belong in the key of E minor is very helpful here. And there you have it, the deconstruction of Black Sabbath's Iron Man using music theory. It's important to keep in mind that music theory is not a system of rules telling you what you can and can't play. It's simply a tool to help you get the sounds you want. Now, I'm not saying that all the variations I played in this video are a good idea, but sometimes music theory can help you find sounds that wouldn't occur to your intuition. We'll choose the first three notes of the major scale in C major for a prime. That's C, D, and E. Now for the inversion, the notes move in the opposite direction down the scale. So instead of going up, we're going to go down, C, B, and A. The retrograde is going to be the prime backwards. So if the prime is C, D, E, the retrograde is going to be E, D, C. And finally, the retrograde inversion, which is the inversion backwards. So instead of C, B, A, it's going to be A, B, C. Until next time, shred till you're dead. Don't shoot me, Tony.